1932, some 20,000 World War I veterans, called the Bonus Army, marched to a new battlefront. Congress has promised them a bonus of $1.25 for each day served overseas. Not to be paid, though, until 1945. With so many veterans broke and jobless, they are demanding the money now. Congress refuses. Two billion dollars? It's just not possible. But the veterans refuse to leave. They camp out in the sweltering summer heat. Five long weeks pass. Finally, President Hoover, convinced the Bonus Army is a front for a communist revolution, orders the police to clear the men out. But the veterans aren't going without a fight. Hoover calls in the army. His chief of staff, General Douglas MacArthur, orders the 12th Infantry and 3rd Cavalry Regiments to assemble. For the first time in American history, tanks roll down Pennsylvania Avenue, mobilized against American citizens. Ignoring Hoover's orders to evacuate the men peacefully, the infantry closes in on the veterans. The soldiers advance with tear gas and fixed bayonets and burn the camps to the ground. When it's all over, 54 veterans are injured and 135 arrested. The Bonus Army disbands. <laughs> 